Sorry guys, as you can see, I am going to be live in a few minutes, but this is the first time I've ever gone live and I'm feeling just so out of whack. I'm not sure if I got everything set up right, so I'm just making sure I can even see myself. And then I will be starting soon. And we're gonna make this pretty autumn leaf bursting um, rock painting. And it does throw me off how the um, the lag time from what I'm actually saying to what I actually see on the computer is like quite a few seconds. So it's a bit strange. It's something I have to get used to, I guess. So bear with me. We are almost ready to start. All right, guys, we are almost ready to start. I think. Okay, right, let's get started. So I have no, many, no idea how many of you guys can actually see me or hear me. Um, if you do wanna say something, you can pop onto my Facebook page and chat because if you're not there, if you're in like a group watching, there's no way I can see you. So the first thing I want to say is we are going to be using regular acrylic paint. And we're going to be painting this pretty um, autumn leaf that's bursting through colors. And lots of people want to know how to do these kind of like 3D popping out things. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. And we're gonna be doing it on this stone. Now I did resin this stone, so it is pre-resined, so it's really dark already. This one I just simply painted black in the inside and then worked out from there. And because I don't have a hair dryer with me, this is probably going to be a longer project than I had anticipated. So first thing, I'm going to be using a paintbrush for the center and for, for my little leaf. And these are my dotting tools. This is nothing but pins stuck into just like it's like blue tack stuff. But you can use pins, you can use dotting with a, a dull pencil tip or a sharp pencil tip. The backs work great for big dots or big swipes. This is all swiping. So this is just kind of some of the stuff that I use. So instead of boring you to death with what I do, I am going to attempt to draw a maple leaf. And I will say this is going to be an attempt. It didn't turn out like I wanted to here, but we're gonna try. So like I said, if you want to say something, you have to hop onto my Facebook page and comment because I can't see you if you're somewhere else or if you're on YouTube watching. I, I did try to go live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time 
and that might have been a disastrous thing to do or not. So I'm just using a regular paint pen. These are Colorflow paint pens, and since I'm in the UK, I think that's the only place you can get them. I chatted actually with a lady that designed these, and she is an avid rock painter, and she really took a lot of time to design them um, specifically for rock painting needs, but they work beautifully on glass and other things. So this is a scary looking maple leaf. We'll see how it turns out in the end. It looks like something out of a spooky movie. Um, we'll see if we can make it look a little bit better by the time I've finished <laughs> with it. So that's what we got right now. Now to put the center colors in, you guys see this, you know, let me pop this up on something. So it's tipped towards the camera. And I'm live on my uh, desktop, so it's, everything is at weird angles, and I'm just so, like, not comfortable with anything. So we're just moving forward in a little bit of a very strange uh, manner. Right, so this is how I use acrylic paints for this. Because this is a small stone, and this is a massive tube of acrylic paint, and I hate wasting paint, I just use the paint right out of the tip. So I do have water. I'm just going to wet my brush. Let me bring it here. Uh, and I always have a paper towel next to me. All right, so I'm just using the paint out of the tip of the um, cap. And I want to just follow this over. The only reason I used a paint pen to draw on this is because pencil just did not show up at all. It was disastrous when I did this one. So paint pen, yeah, it's just like a temporary template for me to follow so I know where on earth I'm going to be painting. Uh, let's get a little bit more. So I'm just very carefully going over this, everything, and I'm always doing downward strokes so I don't have too messy of a maple leaf and hopefully it makes it look like the veins are all going towards the center in the end. We're going in with just center strokes and my brush is getting a little bit too fat now to be nice, we need more paint on there. So I would love to know where you guys are from if you are watching. It's always fun to know where people are from, and there are so many rock painting groups all around the world. It's incredible. So I would love to know where you guys are rock painting from. Or even if you're not rock painting, you're just watching me somehow, where you're from. That would be awesome to know. So since I don't want to get my water dirty too much, I'm just going to clean it up on this. And I'm putting my red away. I'll leave that setting here so it can look pretty. And I'm going in with a lighter color of orange. And then on top of that one, I'll be adding some yellow. And again, I just like to go straight in and then pull up my rock. This is, this um, maple leaf did not turn out as good as the other one. So, not sure what it'll look like in the end. Maybe it might look like a giant blob, I'm afraid, but we'll keep going at it and see. So I'm taking my paint off because I don't have enough paint on my brush. And I think I just actually want to wet my brush a little bit and get some get this the orange a little bit more wet so it will stay on top a little bit better and cover more again it's not the best maple leaf I've ever done but for the purpose of demonstration this is how it's going to be
By the way, if you guys have any suggestions of things that you would like to see me paint, I'm all open for suggestions. And I don't have any in the tip of this one because I used it up earlier. And normally I would wait for this to dry a little bit. But since you guys don't want to be here forever watching me do this, we are just going to go straight in on top of the wet paint, which is a very dangerous thing to do if you don't know what you're doing, and put our yellow highlights. Okay, so my maple leaf is pretty much done. I think I'm happy with that. It no longer looks like something out of a scary movie. It looks a little bit more normal. So that's what we have at the moment. Now for the swipes. For the swipes, you want to have your colors ready and very watery. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit of yellow in the cap of this one, just by squeezing it just a tad and then pulling the cap off again. And this is my dotting tool. It's nothing but a pin stuck into like blue tack or something. This is actually paper. And I'm going to get my, um, since I'm mixing this in a cap, I'm going to get this nice and wet. Because your paints need to be a little bit wet and drippy to do swiping. If they're too thick, it will look like a giant blob instead of a pretty swipe. So we are mixing, 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 and boring you guys out of your mind, if anybody is watching. Okay, so I want to go in with a few different colors, and we start at the outside and pull it down. So every time we do the same thing, we start at the outside and pull it down towards the leaf. And I want actually, for this leaf, I want kind of black around it. So you can see that it's going to be a leaf. The other one kind of got mixed in with all the colors and actually had more black around that one than this one. And we are starting at the outside and dragging towards the center. Oops. And when your paint is too dry, nothing will come off. So let's keep going. And I think I want a few different colors for this one, a few different shades of yellow I'm going to do. The other one, you can see I did all these dark colors around the leaf and it made it so the leaf doesn't stand out very well. And I wasn't really very happy with that. Now this is only part of the work because when you do these swipes, um, they look 2D. They don't look 3D, they're not standing out. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these pretty little swipes stand out. So let me grab my other shade of yellow. Oh dear, oh dear. And I put way too much yellow in this cap. So I think I'll take a bunch out of here and mix it with my other one. So how long have you guys been painting? If anybody's actually watching me, I would love to know how long you've actually been painting too. Did you know I just discovered rock painting like five months ago and I had absolutely no idea, absolutely no idea that I was any good at um, painting at all. I had no idea I had a talent for painting. But every time we try something new, you never know what you discover about yourself. Let me pop on the pretty rock here. This is a little bit boring what I'm doing. That might help hold me up too. This rock behind that I'm using as a stand, I actually finger painted. Mostly, I finger painted and used sticks as well. So this looks nice. It looks like the 
Light is shining onto this maple leaf. Beautiful. Whoops. So this is too wet now. More mixing. More mixing. Oh, that's sloppy. But that'll have to be how it is. Okay, that's enough. So I'm cleaning my dotting tool, which is nothing but a pen. And then we're going to go out with some shades of orange and before things get out of hand i spilled my water and i'm going to grab a rag and tidy up my drips before they go somewhere they shouldn't Using that one. I think we're finished using these yellows, so I'm just going to put them away and then we're going to move on to orange. The red is a little later, maybe two shades of red. So let's see, I think I want to start with this darker orange. Yeah, and I still have some in the cap. So I get mixed up, mix, mix, mix. Remember you want your you want your paint always a little bit drippy. Be right. And if you can there is a huge like variation of paint consistencies that work beautifully. So you can go kind of almost from one extreme of drippy to very solid and it will still work really nice. Oops. So my rock doesn't want to stay up. Let's see. And when you're working the second round, seriously, I need something to prop my stone up with. Can't even see this way. Um, when you're working the second round, it's good to make the tail go down in between the other colors. That gives it, that'll give it more of a impressive effect in the end when we're um, finishing up. So you have to try to make your tails kind of go drag down as far as you can. And sometimes it's not even possible. Like you just can't even do it. But if you can, it looks nice. All right, I need more paint. And normally, if I was a little bit faster getting this ready, I would have um, pre-mixed all these paints and then just gone ahead with all the, the dotting and not dotting, the swiping without having to mix everything up. But this is the first time, like I said, guys, first time ever doing live like this for a rock painting. I've done arm knitting live a long time ago. And 
still new. By the way, do you prefer lives or do you prefer just seeing? Here we go. So we're going fast. This is actually on the side of a little bit. And you can see I don't have teeny tiny tails. They are huge. They should be. If you only need to drag a very short um, way, then it can be more thick. The consistency can be thicker. Let's see. Let me mix up this other lighter orange. We're going to be going in with. And the two different shades of orange just um, very slightly help give your rock more of a, a 3D look, more interesting. And this would go much faster if I had pre-mixed the paints. Some paints are very thin as they are, but these ones that I have always, always have to be mixed with some water to get them to the nice drippy consistency that they should be. So I guess this is better because if you wanna do a project that you want the paint to be really sticking out and bumping up, you can do. All right, guys, this has to dry, and I don't have a hair dryer, and I've just managed to destroy this side with my finger because it fell off the bump. So we'll leave it like that. Oh, the joys of stone painting. <laughs> Maybe we should go help this a little bit. All right, there's our maple leaf and we're going out with different colors. You know, I was gonna put red on the very outside, but I don't think I will. I think I'm just gonna leave it with these oranges because it's a lot of mixing and a lot of time and there is almost no space to speak of at the end. So I'm just gonna finish off with orange, with my orangey colors. And if you guys want to see more of my rock art, you can pop over to my YouTube channel. It's called Truly Majestic or my Facebook page. It's also called Truly Majestic. Although my Facebook page, I try to put home decor and stuff, but my YouTube channel is mostly stone painting and arm knitting. So, oh, there we go. We managed to get around this without too many disasters. Hooray! <laughs> Let me clean this lid off and put this stuff away. And then I will show you another one of my creations that I made while we're waiting for this to dry. Okay, so this is what we have so far. A little bit hard to see. And then we're gonna make these 3D. As soon as they dry, we're gonna make these um, little things. 
we're going to make these little things look like they are popping out of the rock. You can't even see it. My lighting is what you can do about that. I think I have to fan my stone dry. So let me just talk about my other rocks while this dries. I actually don't know if this is going to get dry enough fast enough for me to do anything with it. And I don't have a hair dryer. Usually you dry this with a hair dryer. It works really good. So this is a fox rock that I did. And I, like I said, guys, I did finger painting. I just, finger painting, I just put, it's always good to use at least two or three shades of the same color. So for the fox, you can see he's brown. And then I put a second color on like this with the ears. And the white, I just put blobs of white here and then used a stick and just stretched it out a bit. And it made it look also like it's got, it's actually furry. Um, and the leaves also, these are just my fingers. You can tell the lines aren't very nice, but it makes it look really, um, uh, it's kind of like impressionist art, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then the green was just put on with sticks. Also, I dipped a stick in paint and painted it on. So that's how that went. Now, I don't even know if I'm in the camera, yeah. And this is another one I did. These are the, the swipes also. And actually, while I'm talking about this rock, I need to be fanning the other one below so it can dry a bit faster. So this is a love rock I did. It is actually flat. I made 3D letters. And I have a video tutorial for both of these rocks on my YouTube channel. This is called the 3D Love Rock. And the other one is the fox, finger painted fox rock. So I just sketched out on a, a notepad these letters. And I think it took me about five attempts before I was happy with how it looked. And then I sketched it onto the rock. I sketched all of it onto the rock, then just painted the lines and then put the black lines, painted the rocks, put the black lines over, put the dots on. These are all the swipey things, and you can see it. It's really like 3D popping out. So fox on one side, love on one side. And then this is another rock I finger painted. So you can see this is supposed to be like a reflection down here. It's hard to see in the camera. And then this whole thing was done with finger painting, just like this, and again, you should always use two or three colors. So this was just with dark blue and then smears of white in it. And this was red and orange with smears of yellow on top of that. And then this, obviously, this is two shades of green and it also smears of yellow. So each one, these two trees have three colors. And then this, um, their trunks were just drawn on with a stick. This is nice and smeary, easy, and smear these colors down. And then just put with a stick, just streaks of white and that made the water look. So this also has a video tutorial on my YouTube channel. It's called Colorful Trees and it is finger painted, you can see. So I don't know if this is dry enough now, let me see. We might have to do this without it um, being as dry as it needs to be. Okay, we are going to attempt to make this 3D, like this stone. Let me get this propped up here. And sorry, guys, like I said, my lighting is not very good at the moment. Maybe I can move this around so it helps it a bit. Um, and I need my pen. And this time... I'm actually going to be using the very, the very tip of my pen to make this, to make these little teeny tiny white swipes. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let me get this water down. So I'm just mixing my paint so it's drippy. And by the way, this for this one, you want your paint actually very, very, very drippy. The more drippy it is, the more kind of transparent it gets. And this side was more transparent. I liked how this side looked better. This side, the white is very thick and opaque. And it just depends on what you want. It looks nice as well. And this Love Rock, again, it was very thick and opaque when I did that one. Okay, so it looks like I have, has my video stopped playing? All right, so we have a little teeny tiny bit of white on the tip of this pen. Oh, I hear that. So let's see. Right, this is what you need to do. You need to put a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of white on your pen. And then put it on and drag it down. Now, because this pen, this paint is not dry, it just <laughs> made a hole in my paint. So this is definitely not ideal. So I'm going to try to be going with the very tip and seeing if I can do it on the wet paint. Because the paint is still wet, so it is not working like it should. There we go. You have a little teeny tiny white highlight that needs to go on the edge. And sometimes if your swipes are so small, like this one at the top is very small, you can just put a little tiny white dot. And sometimes the whole um, swipe will completely cover the, the color below. And that's not what we want. We only want a little teeny tiny highlight of color. We don't want to be completely covering what we had before. So, Oh, guys, maybe next time when I do this, I'll have better lighting. But anyways, you can feel free to comment on what you think should be improved or what you would like me to do a live painting on. I might be able to do it or I might not, but I love getting comments and ideas anyways. Can't see how clear this is. It's working on that computer. Mhm. Mm so now you guys know how to make three D little bubbles, and this one didn't turn out. Maybe if I went, I um, don't know why it's so fuzzy. Maybe it's my webcam. Usually my webcam is crystal clear. Maybe it's the lighting. This needs to be a little wet. It's definitely not wet enough. You guys are, you don't need any fancy dotting tools to do swipes. You can use 
quite literally whatever you have around the house. You can use pencil tips, you can use pins, you can use hair pins, and I am sure, I think we're almost done. That's us finished. Let me see if I can twirl the lining around better while I'm holding this. Is that better for you guys to see? So that's what we just did. That's our rock. All finished. This was the other one that I did. I went around this one with a paint pen. Um, around the leaf with a paint pen to give it more definition because it was just blending in with the the rest of the swipes. And this is another swipey rock. You guys can see that there's all sorts of things that you can do with swipes. And let me grab one more. I'll show you something else you can do with swipes. Okay. Well, this is another rock that I have a tutorial on. And you can see that the swipes I've, I've done down here are for the sea. And I, and I have a full tutorial on that. I think this is called Ship, Ship Ahoy or something like that on YouTube. Ship Ahoy Stone Painting. So you can see how I've done the waves with swipes and also added just some little highlights of white on it. So the swipey thing can be used all over for all sorts of things. And if you're not comfortable with swipes, dotting is a lot of fun as well. You can see most of this, actually half of this rock was done with just dots. And I have other rocks that I've done with just dots. So if you don't know how to paint, don't worry. You can dot it and almost all dots look beautiful no matter what you do. So you're covered. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you would um, like to see me do. And I'll see if I can do it. I'm off now. I've managed to get a live done, although it didn't turn out exactly how I thought, but I hope you guys had fun. So without further ado, I am heading off. Have a good day.